All right, today I'm going to share my thoughts on making original songs versus making covers. This will be a discussion on both playing music, but also releasing music too. This will of course be from a guitarist's point of view, but you can really extend this to any other instrument too for the most part. So I'm not sponsored by any of the brands shown in this video. I'm not some guitar virtuoso either. I'm not in some amazing touring band. I'm just a YouTuber. I'm just some guy on the internet who clearly likes guitars. I do the casual YouTube online music thing. So my experience releasing music is online. So I'll talk about the pros and cons of both the original songs and the cover songs, and then I'll give you my overall thoughts. So let's jump right in and let's start with cover songs. Now what's the deal with cover songs? Well, the coolest thing is that you get to play the songs you like, and that's a lot of fun. There are many reasons why you probably got into music or are interested in music, and it's likely you heard a song at some point in your life that you liked. Maybe you thought, hey, I could do that. And so playing a cover song fulfills that desire. It is a lot of fun when you've learned the song, you play it through, you're hitting all the notes, you do feel pretty cool. I did play in a band like <laughs> a decade ago, like over a decade ago now, and we did a cover song, we had some original songs, and it did feel pretty cool to play the cover song. We covered System of a Down. So with the cover song, it's true, you can play it note for note. You can have a lot of fun doing that too, but you can also change the song a bit. You can play the song how you want. It could be a big change, like what if I covered Linkin Park, but it was like jazz or it was like ska or something like that. And you can go ahead, give it a shot. Or maybe you could take a song that isn't metal and make it into metal. I feel like that's pretty common these days. You can do all kinds of things. And so if you're either performing covers or releasing them online, making videos about them, you can attract an audience, build a bunch of people that have a similar taste in music as you. That's both if you're playing the song faithfully to the original or if you're putting a twist on it, you can find people who appreciate the same kind of twist. Of course, the flip side of attracting people who appreciate and like the song, the original, is that they're going to have some expectation of how the song should be. And if you tread on that expectation, if you play it uh, wrong or you ruin it in their eyes, they're going to be upset. So if you went the route of playing the song note for note, there are going to be those people who either have a different idea of perfection, maybe it's not possible for you to play it like the other guitarists, maybe you have a different style, maybe your guitar tone is different, could be anything. You could make zero mistakes and people are still gonna find something to dislike about it. So playing a cover song note for note isn't a guaranteed pass <laughs> to be liked and appreciated by the fans. Of course, putting your own twist on the song, changing the genre, changing the parts, changing the lyrics, whatever you do, there's a chance people are gonna either appreciate the creativity and they're gonna like it, or they're gonna really hate what you've done with it and they'll think you've ruined their favorite song. Either way, there's no denying that playing cover songs will get you discovered more. People will be searching for the song if it's well known. People might be looking for covers, which is exactly what you're doing. And you can't help but notice too, like at events, and I'm not talking about concert events or anything like that, but uh, live events and festivals, maybe it's uh, like it's October and there's like a pumpkin patch kind of autumn festival going on and there's a live band there. They're usually going to be playing either mainstream covers or they're going to be playing like the dad rock kind of stuff. Maybe at bars they're going to be playing that kind of stuff. Of course there's wedding bands too, y you get the idea. So let's talk about original songs now. Now when you're writing an original song, you're in control of everything. You have the ultimate creative power. You can use whatever guitars you want, whatever tuning you want. You can use as many guitars as you want. You're in control of the tempo, the key. You can pick the guitar tones or the tones of the other instruments too. You want a trumpet with distortion on it? Well, you can go for it and write that in. Even if things are getting outrageous, you can experiment with all kinds of digital instruments with VSTs, etc. And you can use them in any way you want. Of course, this also means you have to write everything. It's all up to you. Unless you're writing with someone else. But you don't have a blueprint per se. This of course means it can also be more time consuming. With a cover song, you have something to go off of. Maybe there's chord charts you can go off of. Maybe you have the tabs already. With the original song, you have to first come up with those things. And music might not be your full-time thing. It might be a hobby for you. You might not have time to sit around writing songs all day because you have other obligations like a day job. Maybe you have kids. You have to go run errands, things like that. Of course, once you've done this and say you want to release the song, you don't have to worry about things like licensing. 
you can just release the music. It's yours. And because it's yours, you have the satisfaction of having created something of your own and released it to the world. Of course, when writing music, you don't have to go in with no inspiration whatsoever. You can take inspiration from other genres, from other songs. Maybe you like a certain style of riff and you try your hand at writing that riff. And that's another thing too. If you try to copy a riff and you mess up and you make something <laughs> completely original, that's a way to do it too. Having a creative vision and making mistakes and creating something else can result in some fun songs too. In terms of getting people to listen to this music though, maybe your objective isn't just to create music for yourself, which is completely valid too. There's no hard rule set in stone that you must create music and then you must get the biggest audience possible and this and that. You can just do music for fun on your own. But if you do want other people to hear that original music, it is more difficult because these original songs, people aren't really searching for these original songs like they would be for a Metallica song. It's basically up to you to attract this audience. And as such, if you already have an audience, then people will be listening to these original songs. Of course, with algorithms, um, sometimes you can go viral. I feel like that's just a lightning strike. You get really lucky with that. A lot of the time you'll release an original song or make a video with an original song. And because no one's really looking for it, no one's going to find it. It'll get less plays, less views, maybe a few like new ears here and there from the algorithm trying its best. So what are my overall thoughts on original songs versus cover songs? Well, it really depends what your objectives are, what you like doing. Is music just your creative outlet? How are you the most creative? Are you creative by already having a blueprint to go off of? Having a song already done and then covering it like, hey, I can do this, I could do that. Are you trying to build an audience? Are you trying to be discovered? Do you want people to hear you? It stands to reason that if you're trying to build an audience, you'd want to play songs for the audience. So if you want a metal audience, then you would try to play the big metal songs and do covers of those. Eventually you could branch out and start doing original songs once you have a following. And if those original songs are similar in style or genre or whatever to the songs you're covering, maybe your audience will catch on. But really what I think is that unless this is your full-time job, what, unless you're gigging and teaching and music is your job, unless you're doing streams and videos and everything you can do. If this is just a hobby and you, you have a day job and other responsibilities, really just play what you want to play. Because you could also say that there is an audience for what you're doing if you're just doing it for fun. And the evidence of that is that you're doing it. In this world full of people, there are going to be some out there who like the same things that you do. Playing music for your own satisfaction and enjoyment too will help you avoid burnout. If you're just trying to chase an audience and play songs that are popular, you're going to have to play a lot of songs that you really don't feel like doing. And you're going to have to do a lot of work when you really don't feel like doing it. Maybe you only have time during the evenings and nights to play music. Well, do you want to be working away at something that you don't really feel like doing? Or do you want to be having fun playing what you feel like? If you're trying to release music, are you trying to release music to make money? <laughs> Good luck. Um, are you trying to release music to gain more audience? Or are you just releasing music to put out your own creations, just to maybe show your friends and family, like, hey, I did this, isn't it cool? Because that's fun too. At the end of the day, it really depends on what your objectives are, what you want to get out of the instrument, the music making process, how you want your music to be heard, if you even want your music to be heard. It really depends on what your objectives are. But don't forget to do what you enjoy doing, at least sometimes. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts on original songs and cover songs, both playing and releasing. Do you have any thoughts? Do you have ideas, questions? Leave them down in the comment section below. You know, this is YouTube, so I have to say the YouTube things. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, share the video, print out every frame and mail it. And as always, peace.